Uh, hey guys, I have another match for you here. It's, an, it's a standard match. My friend Marcus uh, had us at lunch today, actually. It was a really good match. It has, has a lot of predictions, some good A, uh, you know, so a, a little bit of hacks, but not, but not too much. You can see I'm bringing Jirachi, so that automatically gives me a, uh, uh, a douche status because I brought a Jirachi. <laughs> Everyone just hates Jirachi. I don't know why. It's, it's a pretty good poke. <laughs> And uh, you can see he's bringing a uh, standard Pokemon, basically. Uh, actually, if you look at his team, a lot of them are pretty weak to fighting. Look at that. The four of his pokes are weak to fighting. So my Galade is a, and my Galade and my Arcanine are pretty big threats to his team right now, actually. But you know, so um, you can see we're both bringing the score, and he's he's actually running a, a defensive core with well, not a defensive core, but. Two defensive pokes with a, with four offensive pokes around it. So a, a Gliscor can easily easily sponge the fighting type moves aimed at Clefable, while Clefable can easily sponge the ice type moves because most of them are special aimed at Gliscor. And actually, after the match, he told me he's running a mixed defensive set, so he can take a, a physical and special ice type moves. He also has he also has another ice type resist for a, in the form of his Lucario and his Volcarona. And you know, it's neutral on 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 Kiridum and it's neutral on Chinchino. So we'll see what we can do here for a second. Um, let's begin with the match. And like I said, there's very little hacks, but he kind of hacks his me in the very very beginning. Ready, Kyle? By you know. That's my mom. Just ignore it. He just needs to change Cal out, which he, he, he told me after the game he purposely outsped it. Oh my god. Shush. He goes U turn and he actually gets a crit on this U turn. Look at this. And I live it. Which is hilarious. And predicting my bolt switch because he's because he sees this, this is a different one I want to carry. I usually carry a non shiny defensive rotom. He saw this and he goes into his Gliscor, which of course, of course he would go into his Gliscor. So uh, only does he get a, does he get a crit. He also goes into his score just, just cause, like the, I I called him I called him a douche <laughs> during this battle. I was like, you are not cool. So I go into Skype, so I go into a uh, IR blade, my Galade, and I threaten him out with the ice punch, which I which I go for. I go for the ice punch. Wait, no, wait, no, I don't. No, he he switches out and he switches out, predicting a, a switch to a special attacker to hit his score. And I just stay uh, switching to my Galade. And I go Ice Punch. Which would do a decent amount to that Kiram. Yeah. Actually, because I saw that amount, I was thinking, huh. If a neutral Ice Punch did that much, then I think, I think a super fit of Drain Punch would kill it. And he goes, Jiggle Meteor. And I, and I was worried he might be Specs. But then I realized he's Scarfed. He's not Specs, he's Scarfed. Which means I, I live it, and then I hit him with the Drain Punch, and I get most of my health back. I do kill it, and even if I wouldn't have killed it, I, I would have used Shadow's Tank on, on the next turn anyway, so it didn't even matter. So I, at least I kill it. And I get most of that health back, which is pretty good, actually. I am Life Force, I am losing health, but here he goes into his Chinchino. And this thing actually caused me, it was a pain, because it was always coming in on my Galate, and my Galate does not outspeed it, even though I'm Jolly Max Speed, it has no chance of outspeeding it. And I go into Arcanine. Although I brought the wrong Arcanine, I meant to bring my Intimidate Fire Gem Arcanine. And trust me, you have you have no idea how hard that hits. A Fire Gem, a I forget forget Choice Band. Fire Gem boosted Flare Blitz just destroys anything, especially in the sun. Oh my God. <laughs> so here, a a Life Orb Flare Blitz will do. Again, I'm running offensive. A Arcanine on defensive. A Life Orb Flare Blitz will do exactly half to that to that a. Uh, Good score. God, I keep on getting mixed up with its names. I always think it's like a bat thing. But oh well, he goes Earthquake, just kills it off because you know he can protect and all that and just get all his health back if he needs it. And then I go into my Rotom. Again, I actually I keep this thing alive for most of the game, which is awesome. Even though he's at low HP, he's still defended. Now, I know he's going to protect. And I purposely went for the Hidden Power Ice. Because I have Hidden Power Ice. Now, I know he's going to switch into his Clefable because I saw it earlier. So I am going to double switch into my Galade. And he asked me why I switched and he was like, wait, did you predict that? Yes, I did. So now we're back to square one. Where we're just, where we're just a little while ago, we're, we're right back to it. He goes into Moon Fairy, his Clefable. 
and here I know he's gonna print the ice punch, so I go straight for the close combat. This is not this is not a setup gladiator at all. It does not have any setup any it doesn't have any AS stat boosting moves. It has two fighting type moves that great didn't matter either. I, 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 he, I asked him how much defense he was running, he was running like not very much. Split defense is mo kinda, of, but mostly in special defense is sponge for ice type hits. And yeah, that, that crit didn't matter. But yeah. I run Drain Punch, Close Combat, Night Slap, I mean, Night Slap, what am I talking about? Ice Punch and the, what's it called? Mm, Shadow Sneak, that's right. Yeah, so I go into, I go into my own Gliss for this time, he has not seen this yet. Now he predicts my switch into something, into something that would resist U-Turn. He gets it half right, but he only hits two of the, of the Rock Blasts, and even if he had hit all five of them, it, it, it would barely do half. Unless he got a crit somewhere in between, which would be stupid. So predicting my Ice Fang, he goes into his, again, I'm, I'm predicting his Gliss Core switch in. He goes into his um, Lucario, but he didn't realize that his Lucario can't touch me. It, it carries a uh, sword Dance, Extreme Speed, Close Combat, and Crunch instead of Ice Punch. Now, right there, I protected to, I protected to see if he's going to go for the Ice Punch, because then, then, I, then I could switch into my, into my, a, uh, I could switch into my Rotom to sack it, but instead, knowing that he doesn't carry it, I stayed in, just knowing, like, yeah, he cannot kill me, no matter what he does, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with an Earthquake and kill it. So he goes for Close Combat, thinking that would do the most damage, and it, 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 I think it would, actually, yeah. It probably would do more than any than any of his other moves. So yeah, he's he's gonna die to an earthquake, obviously. It's the car after minus one defense. Of course he's gonna die to an earthquake. <laughs> and um he goes into Blazewing. Now, this is the part of the match that scared me the most. I was worried about this stupid thing. The entire match. Okay. I know at this point that I have to keep on attacking it. Like I was thinking about going sword dance, but then, I was, but then, a I knew I just needed to get as much damage on it as, as I could, so my Galate could come in and shadow sneak it to kill it. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but you'll see here in a second now. Look at how much that, that first one did. Okay, now he knows he's safe to go for another one. All right, he knows he's safe, so he's gonna go ahead and go for another one. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I'm gonna go for earthquake again. I'm gonna see if I can get it low on health. And then I'm thinking in the back of my head, I don't see leftovers. So I'm thinking he might be life orb. But then I'm like, no, 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 no. If he has life orb, he would have attacked me that turn. It turns out he's resto chest, though. And I'm like, fuck. I'm going to get swept. <laughs> I, it's a three hit KO. And he's just going to kill me off in the next turn. And I am just going to get swept by this stupid Volcarona. And guess what? I get max damage right there, and he goes Bug Buzz, and he forgot that he, I guess he forgot the type, he was thinking that the Ghost Core was Poison Ground, but look at that, Bug Buzz almost kills me too, so yeah, if he had not misclicked right there, actually, yeah, this match wouldn't have, yeah, again, I, I get max damage, but guess what, he lives with one, he told me, like, look at this, one, I could have protected right there, but then I was like, no, I don't want to protect, I don't want to be like that, I know I can't live a fiery dance if it, if it, if it resisted, Bug Buzz did that much, it, was it, was it plus two? Plus three? Uh, I think it may be plus two. Yeah, it's plus two. So I go into, so I go into, into Gallade. And I'm just gonna Shadow Sneak it, because I can. Now, I was worried about getting burned, but if y'all know, can y'all tell me if, like, if Shadow Sneak actually causes physical dam physical hits? Like, if, if, if you actually come in contact with it? Because I don't know. And I would like to know. Because I was worried about getting burned right there. And again, the stupid chinchilla comes in, and I'm, and I'm too low on it. If I had full HP, I'd stay in and try. To a uh, to to drain punch it, but I know I can't. So I go into my Jirachi this time, who I know can pretty much wall this thing, and he has not seen this thing either. And this is actually a scarf Jirachi, and actually that almost does half those those three a uh, tail stops. They almost do half, and he doesn't know it's scarfed until later. And he goes into his actually he only has two Pokemon left. Wait, does he have only two? I think he might have one more left. I don't know, but um, I'm gonna start Iron Head flinching that thing to death. I'm gonna Iron Head, and I am gonna. Okay, this is where the battle gets a little haxy because it's Jirachi. I'm gonna start flinching it to death. He can't stop this. He asked me after the match if I was King's Rock, and I was like, No, I'm not that cheap. Because <laughs> he saw that battle. I don't know what battle it was, but yeah, like some some douchebag was using. Oh, it was, it was a Quandra Red match, and this one guy was using was using a King's Rock Rachi. What a douche. <laughs> 
And he asked me if I was using Keen. I was like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not that. I'm not like that. I'm using a Scarf Rachi. Scarf Rachi is epic. <laughs> that actually a really, really good revenge killer. And yeah. I'm going to continue to Iron Head. He's going to protect. It's really all he can do, but he realizes this matchup is not going to work. Oh, actually, I, I, think, I think I get a crit right here, don't I? Yeah, I got a crit right there with just, and, and a flinch. I get a crit and a flinch. I'm like, dude, Marcus, I am sorry for using this. He was like, well, it's okay. I do this to you all the time. I was like, yeah, you do. So, and I just, now predicting his, his protect, I go into blade, knowing that he's going to protect. I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to ice punch you. You have no choice. So, like, he, I think he protects actually just because, yeah, he, he just protects just because. And I'm, oh, no, 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 watch this. He was Ice Punch. Now, I predict his switch into his Chinchino. I'm like, oh, he'll switch. No, he won't. I go Drain Punch. I'm like, oh, he'll switch. Oh, he didn't switch. Crap. And he actually does a decent chunk considering the resist and he's physically bulky and I have no, I have no a, uh, attack boost or whatever. And actually, the, the, the uh, Drain Energy gets does exactly the same as a Life Orb. And he kills me off with an Earthquake, which is fine. I actually don't need this, don't need this anything anymore because I still have my... Rachi. <laughs> I still have my, my Rachi left. Or, oh wait, oops. Thought it was Rachi, no. I still have this thing left and I predict his, I predict his protect and I go substitute. I was thinking like, maybe, maybe he won't protect just cause maybe he'll try to attack me and break my sub. And that's all right, he won't attack me and break my sub. And uh, I was thinking he might though. So I was like, uh, sub is kind of iffy. I think we'll break it. So I, oh, here I go for least storm. And the funny thing is, Okay, I don't have very much special spec, spec attack EVs in this thing, but still, he lives it. I'm like, what? This score with special defense, that sucks. How could you live it? And he gets to break my sub. And kind of sad. And here I'm thinking, like, you know what? I should I should have just attacked it, but instead I went for some, for some reason I went for Leech Seed. I don't know why. I was just saying, like, if he, if he switches into his Chinchino, then whatever. But I, I go for Leech Seed and I miss, of course. And he gets an Ice Fang, and he gets a crit, and doesn't even kill me. And if he, well, if he would have gotten the freeze right there, I would have been so mad. But, um, yeah. I still have this game one, he has no chance. I mean, I, I can probably Iron Head flinch him to death in my Rachi. And I go with East Storm again. Ho good thing I don't miss, because seriously, 10% 10, 10 90% accurate moves miss for me all the time. Quandoren, I know, I know how you feel. And he's of course going to go into, into his banded Chinchino. It is banded. That's why he. That's why he hasn't seen any life or recoil. And it's not scarf, which is make, which would make no sense because he already has a base one fifteen speed. He's going to go U turn, kill me off, which is good. I need this thing to die anyways. Free free switch. I've gone to my Rachi, who is faster, and. The game. Oh no no no! I wanted to be a one. -0. I wanted to give him at least a shot. <laughs> so I sent in my uh, my rodent to die just cause, just cause. And yeah, just send in rodent to die just cause. I wanted, I wanted to see it shake around a little bit more. <laughs> he goes. I go into Rachi and I Iron Head and actually I don't flinch him. I don't. And he tells me like, oh watch me, watch me crit U turn you. And I was worried. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna crit U turn me and kill me. And yeah, critted you turn would have definitely killed me. <laughs> and I was I was I was scared. I was like, oh no. But yeah, he He dies. And that's the game, and it's a 1-0. My Rachi wins the game for me. So that was a really good game actually. I liked it, it had a lot of it had a lot of switches, and I mean it had a lot of predictions and everything. Really good match, and it was just good in general. I liked it. So if you have if you have any comments over the match, then please, you know. If you want to battle me, that's fine. I'll, uh, um, if you ask yes, for a battle, I'll send you my friend code. No big deal. Uh, yeah, it's a fun match. I also use a. I also use legal hacks. I use solved Pokemon with a no, you know, just your normal 252 EVs and two stats and then four EVs and, and, and like whatever. That's really all I do. And yeah. So, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Awesome. See you later.